Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Let me add, I also have some political blogs here online. Keeping it free, .blogspot.com. Hope you give us a look. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in February, a little bit more than a couple months ago, I made a video about a cryptocurrency, Darkcoin, right? Longtime gamblers slash investors uh, here online, subscribers to my online diatribes know that I believe one of the best investments you can make this year is in Bitcoin right as well as dark coin as I'm on record here as saying in videos going back at least a couple of months well dark coin in particular has been awfully good right dark coin has and I'm being conservative here more than doubled right in other words you're past earning a hundred percent from when I recommended it as an investment now, since recommending Darkcoin, and I continue to own Bitcoin, Darkcoin, as well as some Litecoin and Maxcoin, right? Since recommending Darkcoin, there have been a lot of other currencies that have grabbed the public attention. I know these days it's very hard to tell the difference between the altcoins, right? The cryptocurrencies all look the same it's hard to figure out what's what let me help you right what I want you to do is to go to coinmarketcap.com again that's coinmarketcap.com let me point out by the way that I don't have an ownership interest in the website I don't I'm just like you trying to figure out the lay of the land here now understand in my opinion some of these cryptocurrencies have the kind of risk that even this gambler won't touch even though they're getting a lot of favorable press just because something is a cryptocurrency just because it's electronic doesn't mean that the laws of physics right the laws of free markets the idea of supply and demand doesn't hold and so what I want you to do is to think about the amount of the digital currency that's in circulation before you buy it right you don't want to buy any digital currency that has the same problems that paper fiat currency has right if there are too many units of the digital currency in circulation then I don't want any part of it what I'm looking for and what my pet apparently is looking for here in the background thanks thanks what my pets looking for is digital gold right digital real estate you're looking for a currency that quite frankly has a limited number of units has a limited available supply right so that when you get a part of that real estate it can appreciate in value you're not going to get that appreciation in my eyes if there are too many units of that cryptocurrency in existence so one of the things I like about Bitcoin is that it has a limited supply they're only going to be something like 21 million Bitcoin ever minted so I can buy Bitcoin if Bitcoin gets accepted and I'm noticing what's called a network effect in other words merchants start accepting Bitcoin more consumers start using Bitcoin other merchants see the increased acceptance and the increased usage and they start accepting Bitcoin they become familiar with Bitcoin if I see a network effect and I know that there's a limited supply of Bitcoin then the Bitcoin I buy has value 
right you want to look for limited supply cryptocurrencies so if you go to coinmarketcap.com just an informational site you're gonna see the available supply of all of these cryptocurrencies now I don't know about you but I'll tell you what I'm very unimpressed when I see a cryptocurrency like Dogecoin that literally has right now 78.2 billion units in circulation I understand that this is the sixth most valuable cryptocurrency out there but just like I feel the US dollar has been debased by all this money printing I feel that Dogecoin has been debased by all the Dogecoin minting right there's too much mining of Dogecoin 78 billion units that's too much right let's go one step further black coin another coin that bursts on the scene this is the tenth biggest cryptocurrency according to market cap what I don't like with black coin is you have 74 million units in circulation 74 right to me that's way too many by contrast Bitcoin which is gonna have a cap of 21 million units only has 12.7 million units in circulation so I don't like black coin 74 million in other words uh, roughly six times the amount of Bitcoin in circulation to me is too many let's talk about some others that I don't like made safe coin I know this coin is getting a lot of hype I know it's made a lot of people wealthy I understand it has the 12th biggest market cap for cryptocurrencies but again 452 million units in circulation how are your units going to appreciate in value if there's that many in circulation I don't like it feather coin 43 million in circulation right so you know infinite coin um, 90 billion in circulation that's too many so before you read some Twitter posts and before you get convinced by price momentum that some of these coins are valuable my recommendation to you is that you go to coinmarketcap.com and just look at the physics of the coin right look at the logistics how many of them are in circulation right not what the momentum of the coin is but is the coin in limited supply so that when you get a piece of the cryptocurrency you actually have an opportunity to have it appreciate in value understand the value of real estate comes from its scarcity right there's only one particular block of real estate right your house is on a plot of land that you own right people can't just come and digitally recreate your land and then do that endlessly right so you want to in my opinion favor cryptocurrencies that like Bitcoin have a limited release right you know only 21 million Bitcoin are gonna be minted you know that right so then you can look at the number of Bitcoin you own and understand that you own that piece of the Bitcoin universe right I don't think you could do that with Dogecoin I don't I don't believe you could do that with mint coin which has 19 billion units in circulation I have a trouble with even the relatively new Liberty coin which already has 16 million units in circulation by contrast the coins I like Bitcoin right where you know it's going to be limited dark coin understand dark coin right now has about 4.3 million in circulation a pittance a small fraction 
of what Dogecoin has in circulation. So of all the coins out there, I like Darkcoin a lot. Of course, Darkcoin has features many of these other coins don't have. Darkcoin gives you a far greater degree of privacy. What I want you to do is to research it. But I like Darkcoin. Of course, I like Bitcoin. Understand, Bitcoin has a big network effect going on right now. Right? The second biggest coin in terms of market cap is Litecoin. And its market cap is less than $300 million. Understand Bitcoin's market cap right now is $5.7 billion. Right? Billion. With a B. And so I like Bitcoin. Limited supply, big market cap. Right? I like Litecoin. Widespread adoption. 28 million units. I'm not that crazy about that. But that's far less than the billions of units issued by Dogecoin. Also, I like the big market cap. I believe the uh, cryptocurrency with the most upside is Darkcoin. I'm expecting Darkcoin to eventually pass Dogecoin in market cap. I'm expecting many of the Dogecoin people to wake up and realize that having a share of a cryptocurrency with 78 billion units in circulation isn't as worthwhile as having a share of Darkcoin with slightly less than 4.3 billion in circulation as of today's date, May 18th. 2014. So, make sure you research your coin and ask questions like, what's the volatility bit? What's the volume in terms of sale of the coin over the last 24 hours? The problem I have with MasterCoin, even though MasterCoin has a nice limited supply of slightly more than you know, 560,000 units in circulation. What I don't like is the volume is too light compared to the volume of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Darkcoin. Right? What you also want to think about, too, is how quickly the coin can be processed. I like the speed at which MaxCoin is processed. But understand, MaxCoin also has a problem of being spread a little bit too thin, too fast. Right, Maxcoin, and I'm invested in Maxcoin as well, has more than 20,000, excuse me, 20 million units in circulation. Right, about five times, four to five times what Darkcoin has in circulation. And of course, Maxcoin's market value is only $1.55 million. Right, very small compared to Darkcoin's market cap. Right, so you need to consider the volume. You need to consider the available supply. You need to consider the volatility historically of the altcoin or Bitcoin that you're thinking of investing in. You need to also consider the market cap because that will let you know just how widespread the rate of acceptance is. My personal favorites are Bitcoin and Darkcoin. Those are my top two. I think Darkcoin, simply put, is going to make a lot of people rich. I hope you continue to look at Darkcoin and I encourage the cryptocurrency community to continue to contact me and to leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Let's make the video really a public forum where we can discuss the pros and cons of investing in cryptocurrencies. Finally, let me say this. I understand many people consider fiat paper currency to be vastly superior to digital currency. I think that's ridiculous. Understand you have a technological gap between the two of them. Right? What I would encourage you to do is to just buy a token amount of Bitcoin and then send it to your friend. Look at the transaction cost, which often is not 1%, not 2%, like these credit card reading companies, but one-tenth of one percent. Once you realize that there are decreased transaction costs in sending money, and once you realize the inflation risks of paper fiat currency, just look at what they're doing to items like bacon right now in the United States. Just look at where beef prices are historically 
in the United States right now. Right? Beef prices have been going up and up. Right? Don't believe government numbers. Politicians want your votes. They're going to promise you free candy. Then they're going to claim that they're not responsible. Their political party's not responsible. No one is responsible for multi-trillion dollar debts that we know right now can't be repaid. Understand cryptocurrencies are not government issued. They're decentralized currencies. I know some people have a hard time with the concept of a free market deciding price levels. Right? Understand that's the most efficient economic model out there. Nothing has lifted more people out of poverty in world history more than free markets. Right? I hope you continue to take a look at cryptocurrencies in particular as you consider market price excuse me, market cap, price, available supply, volume, historical price trends. I hope you take a hard look at Bitcoin and Darkcoin, right? Even though we've had some success here in sports betting, I'm just here to tell you I don't believe you can make a better bet this year in 2014 than in betting on Bitcoin and Darkcoin. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at not just gamblersadvisory.com but keeping it free .blogspot.com. and let me warn you understand I'm a libertarian I don't want to pull the punch right if free markets scare you just prepare yourself to be terrified by keeping it free thanks for stopping by